I believe our program is unique because of the different types of people that you'll find in the program. You find people who come from all walks of life. You find people who have been leaders in nonprofits. You find people who have been in a corporate role and want to advance their careers. You find people who are um, fresh out of their undergraduate experience and are coming into this program looking for that big leap into their first career. So that type of experience and the richness of the faculty Many of the faculty on this, in this program are all practice faculty. So the pra practitioner point of view is very, very important. We use research to inform practice and practice to inform our research. So it is very interesting to us to see how the theory uh, plays out in the real world, whether that world is in a classroom, a boardroom, or a nonprofit community center. The just right applicant in the Leadership and Org Performance Program will be someone who has had a rich um, work history. Now that doesn't mean that the work history is actually paid employment, but a history of work that shows that they are understanding what it means to lead, what it means to make decisions, what it means to have good data that informs decisions. What does that mean? What does one require to lead an organization successfully and effectively? So we really look at that within the context of a person's resume. Um, I personally read every statement of purpose. Every statement of purpose tells me a great deal about what this person wants to do with this particular degree. It's very important that someone is clear about their outcomes from this program. So I am taking a time out from my life, from my work, I'm continuing my education. And so because of that, I'm looking for a person's distinct purpose for taking on an 18 month to two year endeavor such as this. I think it's very critical that we start with the end in mind, as Stephen Covey once said, and so let's just, let's do that right from the get-go. How does it make me feel that they're doing great things? Yeah. Oh, well, I, it doesn't get any better than that. That your students come out with a very strong educational background that equips them for this type of work. And the fact that I have alums reaching back out to me and saying, wow, I had no idea what I was learning when I was learning it and look at me now or I really used that from your class Professor Savage it was so critical for me and I would have no idea even how to ask the questions that I need to ask if it hadn't been for my degree program so we are all very very thrilled and pleased with everything that our students are doing um, this was a hybrid program this program is only three years old but we created this hybrid to really take us into the 21st century to look at the decisions um, and how decisions are made at every level of leadership, how an organization is designed, how an organization learns, what needs to happen to its people, its profit, um, its mission, if you will. So we don't care the context. It can be an educational setting, a corporate or business setting, small business setting, not-for-profit, big or small. There are leaders in all of them. Organization happens. The performance of those organizations is critical. And I am pleased to say that our students are making a difference in every organization in which they work.